Today, guys, we're gonna have a look at the VEX range of latex bait thread. We have four different types. We've got the pilchard thread, the fillet thread, the squid thread, and the VEX bottom meat thread. Why use bait thread? Bait thread's really important to get your bait really, really streamlined so it gets to the bottom a lot quicker. It's also really important in bait presentation so you can make your bait look really, really good on the bottom and also really good when there's lots of pickers around because when you've got lots of pickers around, your bait can disintegrate really quickly. Uh, by wrapping it in bait thread, it gives it a lot more resistance against pickers um, and this makes it look a lot more natural. So with bait thread, I'm gonna start today with the, the pilchard thread. So we've got our pilchard here and our 60 gram Vex bottom meat, which is a perfect size for inshore snapper fishing. I'm just gonna rig it up like you would a pilchard. And you can also do this with your surf fishing guys, like bait thread is really, really important for your surf fishing. So I've just got my pilchard on there. Perfect. Get my pilly thread. It's really simple. So the pilchard thread is the finest thread, so it's really, really thin, um, which makes it perfect for using on pilchards, obviously, because you don't want to cut that flesh. So you see I'm just wrapping it round and around and around and just giving it that extra protection against the pickers. So I've been using bait thread for years for my surf casting. Obviously when you're fishing in the surf there's a lot of pickers like tarwine and herring and whiting and I really want my bait to stay out there for a mulloy or a tailor but it's also really important for your um, for your bottom fishing out in the boat as well. So you can see I'm mummifying that and you can't use too much of this stuff you know the more you use the tidier your bait's gonna be and the longer it's gonna last. So you just snap it off there. You can do a half hitch if you want, but there we go. There's a perfect pilchard rigged up on a bottom meat. Next, I'm gonna have a look at squid. So I've got myself a squid tube here. Um, you can put the whole squid tube on. I'm just gonna cut it down the middle. I'm just going to make myself a nice slice of squid there. Get rid of that. It's going to rig it up. Now you can use the, the tentacles and the head as well. There we go. So if you drop that down, that'll still go down nice and quick on the bottom meat. But you really want it, so I'm going to fold it over. The more streamlined it is, the better. So I'm going to use the, the squid thread here, guys. It's just a little bit thicker than the pilchard thread. And same story. I'm just going to mummify that bait. So I'm going to fold it over. It's really important that you keep those hook points nice and clear. All right, just keep wrapping. Make sure you get a lot on that top hook around that circle on our bottom meats. And this wrap, continue wrapping until you're happy, really. You can see I've got a nice thin pencil strip of squid, which will turn into a, a dewfish or a snapper or a coral trout lolly when you drop that down to the bottom. Make sure you get it around those hook points nicely. So like I said before, you can do a half hitch with it but I just snap it off. And there we have a nicely presented squid bait. You can see those hook points are nice and clear. It's a plenty of hook penetration. And now last but not least, I've got a mullet fillet. So a really fresh mullet fillet. I'm just gonna cut that down so it's a smaller size bait. And I've got a 300 gram bottom meat here with the bigger hooks. Now some people prefer to have the hooks come, this is scaled as well. Um, I like to have the hook points coming out of the, mullet, of the skin of a fish. That's purely personal preference. Um, if you are putting it on when there's scales, make sure you go to the hook points and get rid of the scales off these hook points. And now I've got the, the heavy fillet thread. So just a lot more thicker than the, the squid or the pilchard. 
Same thing, I'm just gonna wrap it. Make sure you pick up that cord, wrap it around those hook points, and just go around and around and around and mummify that bait. So this is mullet, fillet. I like to use tailor strips if I'm surf fishing a lot for mulloway. I'm um, out in the boat, Sergeant Baker's really good as well. Any sort of wrasse you catch, but mullet is really, really a great fillet bait. Lasts a long time, it smells. It's got that nice shiny skin as well, which attracts the fish. Let's keep wrapping. Again, hook points nice and clean. Snap it off. And let's make sure that I get that squid skirt, that glowing squid skirt, because you really want that to be out and about, flashing about and glowing. So you don't want that wrapped up too much. And there we have perfectly presented mullet fillet wrapped in bait thread nice and tight. So that's pretty much the range of vexed latex bait thread, guys, four types. Uh, not only great for your demersal bottom fishing, really good for your surf casting as well, for pilchards, tailor fillets, any sort of bait if there's lots of pickers around. Um, check them out at your local tackle store.